It is Friday, August 2nd. My name is Karen and this is Bobblehead Knits. So welcome everybody, whether you're new here or you've been here before. This is my knitting podcast and I appreciate that all of you are watching. So let's just dive in. Uh, first little disclaimer, this is the one spot currently in my house that is not in complete disarray. <laughs> so uh, we'll see if I can hold it together and keep the disarray out of this video. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> All right, I am moving at the end of the month and so things are in various stages of being packed up or given away or sold and yeah, you know how that goes. All right, uh, first finished object. Before I show it to you, I'm gonna give you a disclaimer warning. If you don't wanna see the Stephen Wiss uh, Surprise Sock Along 2024, then look away. All right, I warned you, now I'm gonna show it. So, here it is. I have a hoe, <laughs> that's a half finished object, and it is so much fun. Love this sock. Not exactly um, traditional sock knitting, so if you are one of those people that only like traditional sock knitting, this is not for you. <laughs> so simple uh, uh, knitting vanilla so knitted vanilla socks are fine. This is not it though. <laughs> this was knit flat and then stitched up. It has various um, different design features as you can see and probably the hardest for me was the brioche but I got it done I did kind of have some mistakes up in here I connect I like attached it the wrong way but oh well that's a design feature now and I'm very happy with it it is a little tight in the leg but I think after I block it, after I soak it, block it, that it'll stretch just enough that it will be perfect. I was worried that as I was knitting it, that um, the heel and the foot was just gonna get too have like too big uh, and too loose, but it's not, it fits pretty good. So very, very happy with that. And I have cast on the second one and so my July socks will be done sometime in August. <laughs> That's what these are, July socks. So there it is. And I'll show you the yarn I am knitting it with. This is uh, Dark Omen Yarns, and that's an Italian dyer. My main colorway is Sear. Then uh, contrast color number one is Sunstorm. Contrast color number two is Wizard's Robe. And contrast number three is Riz Salad. So there they all are together. Uh, this sock, when I put it on um, last night, I was watching the Olympics. My husband and I and my daughter were sitting on the couch Put it on we were all like "Ooh, what a fun sock this is by far the funnest sock i now own i might uh give it away we'll see though i need to do some strategic surgical enhancements <laughs> there are some issues with it i'm not going to show you too close i don't know if you can see but there's an issue right there and just some of the the things i need to tighten up a little but nothing too major I am happy with it, and I will be finishing them this this month. So, uh, what else? Oh, my husband uh, told me, suggested that I uh, give you a close-up view of all my knitted pieces, like not just hold them up in front of the camera. I was like, well, then they'll see all the mistakes. So, mm, nah, not doing that. <laughs> One day when I get really like confident in my knitting, I'm pretty confident, but. Some of these stitches are just not the best looking. So like this line, not the best looking. Uh, I did knit this the size two, which, you know, I think uh, because he does such wonky weird sizes, it, 
that's like 60 stitches but then you get to the body of the foot and it's 64 I would have maybe just wanted more stitches up here I could have done more um, like another round of um, chevrons so I'll show you with this one I could have just added more chevrons because it, it wraps this way like this is the, the body of it and it wraps around uh, but I didn't do that on this so I'm not gonna do it on this but something to think about if you have a Cassie's on and I know some people have added just a little bit of wiggle room more and uh, maybe I should have but you know you learn as you go so I'm overall very happy with it I know that you know, whenever you do these mystery knit along, surprise sock alongs, whatever you want to call them, they are, I mean, you don't know what it's going to come out to in the end. It's just something fun to do. Uh, like I said, if you're like uh, vanilla socks only, don't, don't do any of these Stephen West patterns. But once a year, it's fun for me to do these. So, all right, I'm going to move into whips now. This first whip should have been another hoe, but I ran out of steam last night. This is my June sock. <laughs> it's called a nice um, rib sock. It's by Glenacy. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I knit it. The yellow here, yellow green, is um, Green Lantern from My Yarny Corner. And then the green, which I'm also gonna do in the toe on in the green, is just a green from Soccer Mom Knits. And it's a three by one rib, very vanilla pattern. <laughs> I, Cassie's in, on in June. I was traveling for a big chunk of June into July. And so I didn't get them done. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? You bring things to work on on, project, or on vacation. And unless your vacation involves sitting by you know, by the pool or sitting somewhere in one spot for for hours on end, you really, you know, it's like I'm hauling around yarn for no reason. <laughs> so uh, I did, you know, I feel like, okay, it's fine. Next time when you go on a trip, don't don't bring all these projects. Bring like one and, and just be, you know, okay with that. So I kind of did that. I brought two projects. All right, uh, so those are 64 stitches, knitting them on, on 2.25 millimeters, so US 1 needles and 16 inch cord. Uh, I don't know how you all do 9 inch cord, that's just too small for me. All right, next whip. Um, hold on. If you've been following me on Instagram, you will know that I have been casting on like crazy. Some of the uh, cast-ons I talked about last week that I was going to be casting them on, some of them I did not. <laughs> uh, as we pack up to get ready for our move, I'm finding things that I'm like, oh, I want to knit that now. <laughs> and I'm casting them on. And maybe not the wisest because uh, I don't really think I'm going to have time to knit while moving. <laughs> you know, what can you say? All right, uh, next knit is another Oslo hat. Woohoo! This one is uh, a baby, not baby, toddler hat. This is a size small. I've just cast it on. That is Banana Legs from Hedgehog Fibers. It's Alpaca DK. And it might look familiar because last week I showed you a finished adult size hat, which is right here. <laughs> and this is meant, um, this Oslo hat is this twin and it's for my, this one's for my son and this is for my grandson and their Christmas gifts. So uh, it should be fairly quick. If there's anything that I do get done, it will be this because it's just knitting, knitting, knitting. So I um, love these hats. I don't know how many I've knit now, but it's a lot. Highly recommend them if you want a nice, warm, cozy hat. Highly recommend the Hedgehog Fiber uh, Alpaca DK also. It's just so squishy, love it. The colors are beautiful also. All right, the next whip, which 
I had told you I was going to cast on, but I didn't, um, well, no, I'm going to show you this other one. Sorry, I got hung up on knitting on that Oslo hat. All right, uh, the next one I showed you last week. I hadn't cast on, but I told you I was going to. Hang on. This is also for my grandson. This is a Christmas gift also. This is a flax sweater and I am knitting it in the size one to two year. And there it is. And I need to slip for the sleeves. It's hard to show you this. There it is. This is Big Bad Wool Wee Packa in the colorway Skunky. Yeah. Best um, yarn for baby knits. I love this yarn. In fact, I love it so much that last year I knit the same sweater in the same yarn, only in a different colorway. And it fit him so well, and it was such a quick, easy knit that I was like, I'm gonna do that again. So. That is coming along. That won't take me too long. I mean, it's a little baby sweater, so, or toddler sweater, so won't, won't require a whole lot of time, but I just need to sit down and do it, which will be interesting as I get busier this month. All right, next cast on. I did tell you about this last week too. Uh, this is the one that it's a not really a surprise. It was meant for a Christmas gift for my husband. And originally I told you I wasn't going to tell you what it was. I was just going to knit it and show you at the end. Then I let slip that it was a sweater. And then realistically, I was like, he's going to have to try it on. So I might as well just show it because he will know what it is. If he watches this, there won't be any surprises. But this is my Dustlin sweater by Stephen West. There is the beginnings of it. And I am knitting it in Shubu um, Knits in the Haven colorway. And if you hang on, I'll tell you what that is. It is 80% extra fine merino, 20% cashmere in the colorway caper. And you can no longer buy this yarn. <laughs> So this is a DK weight yarn that dyer is no longer dying. Um, although Jimmy Bean's wool is dying certain bases of this, but I don't know if this is one of the bases. Uh, this is DK weight, but I am holding it double to get worsted weight. It is creating this beautiful fabric, soft, sturdy, just, I love it. <laughs> I, I really regret not buying more of this in different colors so that I can make myself one. So beautiful, beautiful sweater. And I've shown my husband, he's excited. He was with me when I cast it on. And I told him that he needs to act suppressed on Christmas. He will because he's the forgetful type. He'll forget that I cast it on. I'll make him try it on and you know, like a week later he'll be like, what sweater are you knitting me? <laughs> yeah, so, all right. That's it as far as whips currently on the needle. There is another whip that, well, okay, there's four more whips that I plan on casting on in the next week. <laughs> some of these are things that I've already talked to you about and some of them are not. Um, I'm gonna show you one of the new ones that I haven't talked to you about, uh, just so that you have time to join in the fun also. So Witten, our Witchin Stitchin Mama is having a uh, mal, a make along. Hang on, I want to get up uh, her page so I tell you the proper information. All right, so she is having a knit along. It's knitting an emotional support ghost, and it can be okay, well, not knitting, making an emotional support ghost. And last week's episode, if you go watch last week on Witch and Knitting Mama, Witch and Knitting Mama, sorry. If you go watch it from last week, she explains it all. Uh, basically, you can make 
an emotional support ghost and you can knit it, you could crochet it, you could sew it, whatever you want. And enter um, the finished objects on Ravelry or Instagram. And, and the Mal runs until Halloween and there will be prizes. And if you, uh, there's a certain pattern, which I'll tell you right now, that if you knit it, if you purchase this pattern, it's the Grim Grinning Ghosts. Uh, if you get that pattern and you, um, it's by Susan Claudino. If you knit that pattern, then you get an extra um, entry. There's also a couple other ways you can get extra entries. So I am going to knit a 12 inch ghost for Atticus in this crazy green. This is guacamole is the colorway. It's loops and thread. It's an Aran weight yarn, uh, acrylic. I bought it last year for a, a hat that I made him. And I'm gonna use what I have left to knit him a ghost. Ghosts can be green. Ghosts can be any color you want. So I will be casting that on this weekend at some point. And then I have three other things. Well, one of which I've already talked to you about and two other things that I haven't talked to you about, but I'll tell you about them next week because they're way over there and too much, <laughs> too much effort to go get them. All right, so those are my whips. Those are my plans. Uh, as far as acquisitions, I have none in my possession right now. I did order some yarn for, I'm, I'm already talked to you about, I'm knitting um, the painting brick shawl for my husband and I needed uh, some yarn for the main color. So I've ordered that, hasn't come yet. I've also got another uh, knit along I'm participating in that yarn hasn't come either. So I do have acquisitions on the way, <laughs> but that's all, I haven't bought any other yarn besides those. And those were bought last week or week before. All right, um, I don't really have any other knitting for you. <laughs> so if you are leaving now, thank you for coming by. And uh, I ask that you like and subscribe, just that helps me out. And if you're sticking around, thanks for sticking around. So in addition to the knitting, oh, in knitting, <laughs> to the moving, <laughs> which let's just back up. Back in May, there was an episode where I was talking about how stressed I was and I was kind of bummed uh, because I had a bunch of balls in the air and they were taking forever to come back and I just wanted them to land safely and have everything tidied up and squared away before I went on vacation. So of course none of that happened. Uh, but then I got back and one of the balls dropped, the first one, which was the move, which had been up in the air. Uh, and so the move is happening and we are in, I am currently, well, my daughter's packing a little bit, but I'm the one mainly packing. We're not moving until the end of this month, but I have some other big news I'm gonna share with you involving another one of the balls that these things, uh, that thing will keep me pretty busy. So I was like, get a jump on packing now. So most of, well, I shouldn't say most of my house, but there's a big chunk of the house that's already packed up. So my husband in two weeks will start taking these boxes over and uh, to the new house. He's got a little bit of, uh, there's some work that has to be done at the new house and I don't know that he's necessarily doing the work. Well, some of it I know he's not doing. There's some people coming in to do some work. And so he can at least put, get the boxes out of here. And then we do have movers coming for all the heavy, you know, the big furniture. But the most of the boxes are like smaller thing, or not small, but like not huge. And they're not super heavy. So he, he's gonna take them. Uh, moving's expensive. Like professional movers are not cheap, <laughs> so we were like, let's let's try to keep the costs like, you know, like do some of it ourselves. So that's what we're doing. Um, all right. So that was the first big move or big news. 
Then the second ball dropped, finally, and that big, uh, that ball involved that I have a new job, and I am starting on Monday. It will be uh, full-time working at home still, but I will have like traditional hours, <laughs> so nine to five. Uh, for now, I'm working Monday through Friday, but eventually I'll go to Sunday through Thursday. So, you know, it's just gonna be a change because for the past few, well, the past three years or so, I've been only working part-time and I've been only working part of the year. And then I've been kind of making my own hours. And then before that, I worked full-time, but I was working like I was the boss, so I could, you know, show up whenever. Um, so things are going to be different now. And, well, I'm excited about that. I mean, I'm excited the fact that I still get to work from home and it's full-time and all, but it'll be a bit of a change because I'm not used to, you know, people expecting me to show up at a certain time. <laughs> I mean, I, I work before more than full time, but I never, it was never like, you have to log in at this time. So it'll be a change. <laughs> so I am excited though. Um, and I do have about six weeks of training to learn all of their processes. Some of what I'm doing, I've done for many years and some of it will be new. So I'm gonna be, you know, doing that kind of um, training to get up to speed. And uh, yeah, got my new work computer, got, I'm, I'm going in the new house. I will have a dedicated office slash yarn craft room. So that's exciting. And I have bought, um, like I have, my desk was delivered to the new house already. So, um, I haven't seen it, but it is there and yeah, it'll be nice. So at some point I'll be doing some, uh, videos on setting up the yarn room and setting up my new office type thing. So we hope that I have time to do those videos. All right. So yeah, I just have been packing because, uh, starting Monday, I really am not going to have time to be you know, packing a whole lot. So, uh, I've just got to jump on things. My daughter's also started packing, but she's got a lot of stuff that she has to get rid of and a lot just to go through. So she's been doing a little bit here and there also. So it'll get done. All right. Uh, other big things, nothing big, um, aside from packing, I did watch uh, my grandson last weekend for five hours by myself. He is one, 15 months. He is very mobile and he is a climber. And he is at that stage where it's like, oh my God, you cannot let him out of your sight even for a second. So he wore me out. I watched him Saturday. I spent Sunday, Monday laying on the couch unable to move. So that was fun though. Um, I'll probably see him this weekend again. Other things, I guess that's really it. I have um, not really been, well, I've been reading, but I haven't finished any books. So I don't have any books to tell you about. I've been watching a lot of the Olympics uh, every evening when they do like the day's highlights. We watch those. Uh, I'm not really, when I'm home, I don't like turn on the TV. So I haven't watched during the day, but at night my husband will turn it on. And, and so we've all been, my daughter and I and, and my husband have been watching those things. So uh, excellent, like just very entertaining. We've been having fun with all of it. So um, other things, that's it really. I don't have a whole lot today. So I'm gonna let y'all go. I will uh, be back. I'm gonna try to be back. Well, I know I'm gonna be back middle of this week. Um, not this week, but next week on Wednesday. I will do a state of the stash because uh, I need to report my July uh, numbers. So if you wanna tune in for that, watch for that Wednesday, 
I'll probably film that soon so you'll probably see me looking just like I do now <laughs> but it won't go up till the middle of the week um, otherwise everyone have a great weekend have a great week coming up and I will see you next week bye